This video is all about MapPress. MapPress Easy Google Maps, to give it its full name. MapPress is a mapping application that allows you to insert a map into your blog page or your blog post and to put some markers on that map that tell you more about the places they're pointing at. As you can see at the moment, I'm in plugins and I've done a search for MapPress. And MapPress Easy Google Maps is a particular application that we can look for. As you can see, I've installed it already, so there's nothing, nothing more for me to do. As you can see, MapPress is already installed on my system, but of course you would need to install it. I'm going to go straight to the Pages page here. I'm going to add a page. So I should do Add New. I'm going to call this MapPress Demo Page. I'm going to hang that off our maps because they're my mapping pages. By default, the MapPress map will turn up at the top of your page. I'm just going to stick with the standard settings for that, but if I wanted to change it, I could go to the Map Press button down here and change things. Map Press is here at the bottom of the page. It was inserted when I added the plugin to the system. It'll only be used when I click on New Map, so let's do that now. First thing I'm going to do is give my map a, a title. There we are. And choose a size. You can choose any of these sizes or your own, so I'll just go 640 by 480. The map runs on points of interest, so let's add a well-known location from Gloucester. Let's go Gloucester Cathedral. The very nice thing about this is that it will look things up for us. There we are. It's just looked up the cathedral. I couldn't say for sure whether that's in the right place, but if I knew it was in the wrong place, I could move the pointer and it'll stay where I've put it. Now, if I click on Gloucester Cathedral, it'll show me what's going to come up when I, or when a user clicks on the particular marker just there. So it's got an address. I don't really want the address there. So I'll just write a little bit about Gloucester Cathedral. So, there's a little bit of text, a couple of spelling mistakes there. I think I've corrected those. But there's a lot more I can actually put in. For a start, I could put in a web address. So, here I have a search for Gloucester Cathedral, and I can see the website there. So, if I just go to it, I can copy the URL from the top. And I can go back here, and I can insert a link. So, I could put click here for website can highlight that and add a link with this little button here. There we go. And I can also click this to open it in a new tab, which is really useful because then they don't leave my site. Also, I can insert an image. You have to be a little bit clever here. So I've actually uploaded some images already to my media library. There's a picture of the cathedral. So if I go to that, I need this address. I need this address. Okay, so I'll copy the URL of my picture, go back here, click on picture, and drop that URL in there. Again, I can change the size if I wanted to. So let's make that, rather than 600, let's make it 250 wide, and you'll notice it then changes the height as well for me. So there's my picture in there, and I can save that. And we're just going to go ahead and add something else. Let's put the docs in there, shall we? So I'll whiz through this again really quickly for you. And this time what I can do 
is I'll just go in. I'm not going to bother with a web address, but I do have a picture. I've got a picture of the docks, so let's go and find that. There's a picture of the docks with the cathedral in the background. So again, I'll grab the URL for that picture. Go back here, add the picture. This time I'll make it 300 wide. And save that. OK, so if we have a quick check on Gloucester Cathedral, all's good there. I've got two pointers on my map. So what I shall do, actually, I'm just going to move things around a little bit. I'm going to zoom out a tiny bit. I'm going to centre the map like that. And that's the sort of map I, I want to be looking at. If I want to move it so they're both in the middle, I can jiggle the map around so I get it in the right place. So I'm happy with that now. I'm going to save that. And now I'll publish my page. I'll have a quick look at it. And there we are. There's my map. If I click on Gloucester Cathedral, I get information about the Gloucester Cathedral. If I then click on the docks, I get the picture of the docks. If I go back to the cathedral, I can click on the website, and that opens in its own window. So things are good. It's a very easy to use plugin. It doesn't cost anything. It's very versatile, and it can help you build rich web pages.